Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Il Cappuccino cold coffee cans. So you're probably wondering, why did Lucas get a cappuccino for this channel? He only drinks black coffee, everyone knows this. Well, I have a beautiful wife and she is Prego's. Yes, people, she is ready to burst. Uh, so any day now, baby girl is coming into this house, coming into this family, and we will be sleep deprived for some time. We don't know how long, we don't know the extent of baby girl's sleeping habits. We are praying to the sleeping gods that she does sleep well, but we are gonna be needing caffeine shots constantly. We're gonna be up and down and sleeping here and there and whatever. So my beautiful wife absolutely loves flavored coffee. She does not like black coffee. So I'm trying to load up the fridge with easy crack open and guzzle down caffeine boosts. So that is why I have <laughs> these cans. I am hoping that I can stomach them. I truly do not like flavored coffee, at least pre-flavored. If I do it myself, usually I can get it to where I actually enjoy it. But most of the time when I buy a can and crack it open and drink it, 20 minutes later I feel like garbage because the milk and the sugar and just the processing that went into it is not good for said tum-tum. So then we're gonna crack that bad boy open and do my favorite part of this whole shebang. We're gonna do the sip test. I absolutely love tasting new coffee and I'm hoping, I'm praying to the coffee gods that this coffee actually tastes good. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards it tasting terrible, but Illy is a good brand. They make really, really good coffee, and it's known as one of the top coffee makers, um, at least in the dollar amount. They're very expensive. So after that, we're going to figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It could be never for me. It might be daily for you. We're going to figure that out. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's get a closer look at these bad boys right quick. So this is a 12 pack. Sorry about the bad camera angle. I thought these were gonna come in a nice box that I could do a good unboxing or whatnot, but it does not. Get that brighter for you guys. Okay, so we went with the Cappuccino Illy. This is my first ever Illy. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. I have been known to say things wrong. I am adjusting my camera as I talk. Bear with me, people. This can is impossible to film. I am not happy with that whatsoever. Um, it is actually very very ugly looking and um it really makes me think less of this company they could have done something better than this just tin maybe it's just this one that's kind of funky looking let me take out another one yeah see they're all kind of like scarred and damaged um i don't know if this is because they came from amazon and they were stored in a warehouse for the past year um but right off the bat, this is just, it's not uh, appealing for the camera, nor is it appealing for the naked eye. So uh, a big boo on you, uh, Illy, um, if that's really your name. Anyways, let's get back into this. Sorry for having a little <laughs> tissy fit. This is the Cappuccino Illy brand, balanced and smooth. That is what's up, people. Coffee drink with low fat milk and a hint of coca. Very cool. Illy blend, 100% Arabica. All right, 100 calories per can. I am not watching my calories, so I don't care. Cool, cool, this is the 8.45 ounce. This was actually cheaper than some of the other ones. Um, some were only eight ounces and more expensive, so I snagged this one up. Let's take a look over here. I am uh, so sorry that this looks absolutely terrible on camera. 
I am doing everything I can to not have that happen. All right, so once again, 100 calories, four grams of protein, that is what's up. You get a little bit of vitamins down here and just a little bit more. But whether it looks good or looks terrible, that does not matter. What actually matters is does this taste good? And that is what I am gonna be doing next. I will be doing a sip test so that you guys at home can either skip this or buy a bunch. All right, let's get into the sip test. So I am officially a father of two, baby girl and a toddler. So like I said earlier, this is going to come into play as we go through sleep deprivation and whatnot. So I'm hoping this actually tastes good so that I can grab it when I am in desperate need of boost and go. So let's give it the sip test, people. Wow. Mm. Oh, that is enjoyable. Mm. That is very good. It has a really strong chocolatey taste, but not in a cheap chocolate. It's a, it's a good quality chocolate taste. And then it has a, a enjoyable, creamy, milky taste, which just hits you all at once. Caramel, creamy, milky, and then a little hit of coffee. And it goes down smooth. That is very interesting. This is not the Starbucks people. This is not the Frappuccino glass, you know, bottle of just processed gunk. This actually has good quality taste to it. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. I was not expecting this to taste very good. Mmm. Yeah, it's very sweet, but it's sweet in a good way. It's sweet in a way that that is quality sh uh, sweetener, not uh, just load it full of as much sugar as possible to make sure kids drink it. That is really, really interesting. 18 grams of sugar, that's not too bad. Um, that's 26% of your daily sugar Wow, I'm gonna say that for the unexpected joy of this, five out of five stars. I'm gonna say for the fact that I don't drink coffee with any creamer or syrup or anything like that, five out of five stars. I'm gonna say for what it is, I'm gonna give it four and a half stars. I'm gonna say it's not the best. It's very, very enjoyable. I could see myself guzzling this down and having no problems. Um, but one thing I've noticed over the years is when I consume a coffee with creamer and syrups and stuff like that, I end up feeling kind of crappy an hour later. So it's kind of one of those things where it goes down smooth, kind of like fast food, and then an hour later you're like, what have I done to myself? So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. If it does, I may pull the camera back out and record a quick clip saying that. So we shall see. But as of right now, I'm giving it four and a half stars out of five and I'm saying it's good. It's enjoyable. Um, yeah, and you know, don't be afraid. Uh, if, you, if you're into this kind of coffee, definitely take a look and buy it. go that's the Illy cappuccino cold can hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did definitely click to clack that like button and if you want to join the at home with lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew hit that subscribe button every time i get a subscriber i get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys i surpassed 1k yes people i'm making pennies now yes i'm on my way to making a living on youtube i just need more views and more subscribers so tell your friends, tell your family members, tell your pets, watch this guy, 
and never stop. <laughs> I'm here for the long haul so you can trust that when you subscribe to this channel, you're gonna get content for weeks, months, years, and decades to come. Yes, people, I said it, decades. This is what I do. Subscribe and know that that little blue dot next to At Home with Lucas is gonna be filled constantly and you're not gonna wonder or worry what to watch because I will keep you entertained. <laughs> All right, but as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.